so hello everyone welcome back to a new training a fresh batch in the month of september 2020 and um, i have been in the it e-learning business for the last 11 years more uh, and counting and it's always a pleasure to be teaching the core programming concepts it never gets old on me as well because when we apply whatever we learn in terms of our coding principles onto our projects you feel a lot of excitement team and i love sharing that excitement with you and let's start on to this training so a few things that we will talk about overall it's a two weeks program everyone so we're going to meet monday through friday and this is all us time please kindly translate that into your own country local time 6 30 to 8 p.m pacific time i've cupped an hour and a half but we might finish in an hour and uh, you will be attending this live now please do note that um, there's a lot that you will be doing apart from attending the live program especially when it comes to practice on assignments on projects and so on so go to webinar is what we're using team for our live interaction so at any point you can raise your hand if you need to be unmuted so then you can speak your question share screen any technical questions etc we can look into you can also use the chat window to send short answers to questions that i asked through the training or even reply back with anything that you're facing uh, good or bad at this point team can i request you all um, it's a large audience to please let me know with the chat if you can hear me via, uh, fine and you can also see the screen okay i've got only 20 replies so far just want to make sure that you're all active great and while we are doing this training during live okay so during live only take notes do not practice because you will skip the concepts that i'm teaching your practice will be after the live sessions all right everyone videos please ensure you are registered both on to our um, youtube channel which is youtube.com slash sorry qtp e-learn that is what we created 11 years back and https colon slash slash go dot it learn dot com these are the two locations where video will be placed within 12 hours from the live session so you can always come back to watch the videos if there are too many people we can also do a replay of it together but the whole idea is of a live so there's a question let me look at the chat i can see and hear fine you can hear fine loud and clear how can how do you go in chat so akshara what you're doing is in the chat currently whatever you wrote you wrote it in the chat so that's the question when i said chat there's a question feature in go to webinar all right now back to this and team i may not address all the questions as and when we will only break at the right point so let's not deviate from that point of view and what else replay so so and so practice a lot of assignments team most importantly replicating what we do in live by watching the video no copy paste here there are times where you will copy paste code and start using it not right now all right projects yes we have a good 
set of active projects now team apart from the projects which is the only one for premium members everything else that we will do here is for absolutely free and i would love to continue to do this free training especially for kids who are still in school or learning who would love to get um, a good control on java okay everyone so it will take us a good number of 10 to 15 sessions overall or rather 10 to 15 hours of core training and we will do a lot of coding only team all through this training so there's nothing theoretical that i will explain everything that we will do will go as part of the flow of project so for us what we will be doing we will be basically take a project task or assignment start building a workable solution for it so that is what we will do team now very simple on how we approach this i'm going to teach you a lot on coding especially how you focus on it how you got to do a lot of things uh, debugging principles and so on but let's do it in a very very simple baby steps very very critical for us to be nicely organized so like i said the recordings i do not send it to you you will log into our channel or website and take a look great uh, let me focus on the next uh, remaining part of it take a project task or assignment now start building a workable solution for it so this is how repeat for over six to eight different assignments actually we will do plenty more i think more like 10 to 15 and you'll understand through this process how we master coding and specifically java so we're more focused in java right now team but once you learn one programming language it is absolutely easy to relate to any other language so you want to pick up um let me log out of skype please so if you want to tomorrow work with python or c sharp no problem the concepts are going to be the same now very important for you team where do you apply what you learn so keep this in mind and this is where a lot of people are trying to mislead you all okay you have a self-interest in coding very nice if you have a school or college curriculum that requires you to learn absolutely yes if you believe that tomorrow's career will give you better chances with learning coding early very very good thought um, if you're looking to make money through it sure eventually that is what we will all want to get into but most importantly team it will make you start believing in yourself you will have a lot of aha moments where you discover things and you'll feel wow this is nice this is interesting and you're able to take it to the next one so keep your focus on that and um, this should be very interesting going forward now regarding training content what are the topics that this training will cover all the standard questions let me give you a simple answer go to w3schools.com go to learn java here and i love this website for a long long time very very straightforward simple basic it'll take us through topic by topic we want to cover a lot of the concepts that you see here yes under java methods classes and oops we will do um, we will go through a lot of these team actually in fact most of these out here 
a little bit file handling also maybe couple of them we may not do but otherwise that is going to be our curriculum team is nothing more now unlike w3 schools we will not do topic based learning no topic based learning we will do need or project based learning so what do i mean so i have one project team this is my first project when i say project in project i will say that i have one assignment or task one is to print a square on my screen using a code how can i do that next task that i may want to do today is uh, maybe print a multiplication table on my screen using a code see how i'm kind of emphasizing some of these words on my screen using a code we're trying to specifically talk about what we are going to do and all these documents all the code that we will generate team i will be putting it up here in the google drive and you'll all have access to this folder you will also be put into a common skype group all of you so i didn't discuss about this g drive so g drive for all documents code blah 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 whatever we want okay that will be shared with you skype now skype will be very interesting team it will be a group chat for quick info share like status we'll all kind of do huddling around or group discussions in our skype now okay done 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 i don't want to take too much time on this so back here these are the two tasks so how do we execute or go about doing these tasks team so we're talking about very specifically java what is java and the significance of it and how it became one of the popular programming since the 1990s i think 94 or 95 that's when it kind of really popped up and how it has taken over the world we are not worried about the history so we're going to ignore the history part of it we want to start working with java to write java programs you need a java development kit this is a free version or a community open source version for easy download so one of the things team that i want you to be very clear is the things that i will teach you to get better at search team specifically how you search for anything that you want okay how you think your thinking thought process that is very important for me when we have a problem it is not a solution that is important when you have a problem it is how we think about coming up with the solution and approach is very important so then there is more confidence for that oh you know what the solution works and this is a preferable one now um, so regarding the skype and all this to all the attendees whoever have been attending this program i will invite you through an email you can join the skype group now getting smarter at it what was i doing here working with java i was about to say something free version for easy download right so here team self installation helps and absolutely no spoon feeding 
if you've come from a school or a thought process where you raise your hand and ask a question of everything or anything and assume that Karthik is going to be happy about it or the fact that I'll give you an answer, you're absolutely incorrect. When you ask me a question, I will first think as to how come you could not even find a possible solution, something close to it. So there'll be no spoon feeding team. I want you to be very, very outspoken. You speak out, you tell me what you know, where you're stuck clearly, what is the work effort and direction you went, then we can do. Now, what do I mean by these two tasks? If I want to do something as a manual user, this is where we'll start understanding the difference team. Okay, ting, ting, ting. So let us say I'm a human out here. Let's increase the size of this. Okay, so he is a human. And when a human does a certain thing, there's a certain pattern to it. Now I want to draw a square. Is this a perfect square, everyone? At the same time, if I want a machine or a laptop, I'm just drawing, trying to draw a laptop here, what has to do that, then it will be much more precise. Not that it is, it is both being done by human right now. So it needs to be accurate, team. What a computer does for us. So when I say print a square, it is just displaying something as an output. What is a square? All sides are the same. If the length here is 10, it will be 10 all the sides. What is the angle for a square team within the corners? Everyone, what angle is inside? This is a quadrilateral, correct? That's right, 90 degree. We're going to do a lot of math in this team. 360 degree would be a total, 90 plus 90 plus 90. Each angle, each corner is 360, is, sorry, is 90 degrees. This one, it's a right angle out here. All right. We're not talking about angles, but there's the concept of square. Now, when we want to print something, the way I have to do it is I have to write a Java code. So the first thing I was talking about is JDK. So control N, JDK download. That's all you're going to search for. Go to oracle.com. That is hosting Java for us. Um, you can go to this, the standard edition Java platform, Java JDK download. They're all the same team. Don't get confused too much. And this JDK 15 download that you can do. So look at your operating system, Linux, Microsoft, or Windows. Sorry, why is it is a Microsoft? Macintosh or Windows and click on uh, the zip file is okay or exe is also okay team and directly execute it all right so this will install java on your machine how would you know if java is installed on your machine open command prompt please do note please do note we will repeat all concepts enough number of times you will not skip okay only thing i want you to do is keep with our training schedule give your best effort don't try and drop out in between you're not able to attend live because it's getting too late no problem but at least try and back it up with trying to learn offline now back to our requirement task one so when you download it and you double click and install java basically takes and it asks you where to install on your local machine it should be very straightforward let me not waste our time in today's session for that please install java at your end if you have an issue let me know in the next session we'll take a look at it together not this what was i copying i was trying to copy the oracle JDK downloads. There you go. The next one is nothing right now. Okay. So, what do I mean? I need to write a Java code. So, how do I write a Java code? 
in a simple notepad also we can write a java code team and if it works correctly it should kind of start executing everything for us there now we will come to eclipse ide in a short while we will get there and we'll start writing the same code there but let's talk about this how do you know if java is installed on your machine type run cmd in your programs and then type java hit enter so basically when you do when you go to any of your folders and say java it should be able to give you all the details and say what you have and i when i say java space hyphen hyphen version i get the uh, version of the jdk none of these are commands that you need to remember or that you need to be bored about team we automate them python coding is not the same as java coding only the language syntax is different it is a little bit more easier in python um, compared to the amount of code i write in java but only the syntax the programming concepts are all the same team so what i'm going to do team to think keep things organized i'm going to go to my how much did it say i have the c drive did i overdo too much this pc oh there's only 25 gb free so it will get slow i'll delete a lot of it so that's my c drive i have a folder called training here i do a lot of trainings and so on uh, there is java java batches that i've been doing this year i'm going to create a new folder here team and let's call this java for kids again and this will be ting 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 uh, september i don't want to give too many hyphens f2 function f2 to edit something's wrong with my system already give me a second function f2 and okay that's fine now here i'm going to create a new notepad file team okay a text document and i'm going to call this as my java one now there is or there are a set of certain number of lines of code that we have to write for any given java program so that is what will help us uh, sorry rather it'll, that is what will get the program to be starting to get displayed for us team and the most important one is what we talk about is the class name i'll say public class it has to be the same one as this one my java one anything that you're not understanding just ignore for now don't over worry on it too much team we will come to it now within this class i'm going to create a method called public static void main string array of arguments close brackets open curl brackets and say i'm kind of writing the whole code here taking that effort system dot out dot print ln and say hello to coding i'm sorry sorry about that thing and i said uh, semicolon couple of errors that i want to fix before i do anything else oh and i'm going to save this as alt fa my java one dot java 
that is the extension team okay all of us when we write a java program will see a code that looks something like this a class and something we call as a main method what is public what is class what are these curl brackets static void system args print we're going to explore but this is what a simple java code will look for us i'm going to save this now where is this file so let me go back to the c drive and here i'm going to cd training you all know how to come to command prompt correct team click on windows and type cmd and enter and then when you type java it will tell you the version um, that java is there when we say java hyphen hyphen version it will give you the java version that is all we have done for today team now we've gone here so if i say dir it will give me what all are there in this directory so there's a lot here what we wanted is java for kids hyphen september so i'm going to say cd java for kids hyphen september so i'm doing it more text uh, using a command prompt we're going to switch to id from the next session now dir this just basically my java one dot text and my java one dot java now back here i don't need this text document anymore team i only need my java one dot java this is the important file for me okay now what i'm expecting it to do when i execute is to print this statement out onto the screen for us that is what this command is supposed to do now the command that we're supposed to run is very simple java compile and we primarily talking about what we're going to compile team um because once you write a java code you have to compile that code before java can start to execute it so I'll say my Java one dot Java after which I will say Java, which is execute a Java on my Java one. These are the two steps team. Compile. And then we do a run or an execution. So this is my code, hopefully saved nothing complex about it yes you know curl brackets the way i put it looks very specific and yes we have to be careful about it so when i say java c okay let's refresh this again and look at the directory only my java one dot java so when i say java c my java one dot java it would try and compile this program everyone and if you go to the directory now do you see a class file that got generated which was not there earlier so this specific command of compile generates the needed class file for execution once that is ready i'm basically going to execute that so here i'm going to say java my java one i don't have to give uh, dot java again in here and there you go it says hello to coding now look at the beauty of it that all i need to do at any given point is make subtle simple changes here and it will reflect there so control c control v control v control v control v what am i doing i'm doing nothing except for the fact that i am trying to print the same content five times instead of one time so why is this playing around essential team when you try and write programs develop one of the biggest issues that come up is bugs team defects 
and the art of debugging and removing them is highly appreciated okay so people companies organizations brands they actually pay for the way you think the smartness in your approach so keep thinking smarter ways on this everyone all right so did you see a simple program running now what is my requirement i want to print a square why did i change this from one line to five lines because i want to try various versions see if my code will work with one line will it work with five lines is there any other issue that is what a good programmer does tries different permutations and combinations so saved it alt fs sorry alt fs back to my command prompt i'll just hit my up arrow go back to recompiling it and re-executing it and there we go now let us say at any given point you make simple errors and try and redo the same and it would give you specifically saying issues that hey look there is an issue your program myjava1.java that is the name of your file on line seven is it line seven one two three four five six seven correct on line seven it found an issue and what is that issue print ln this p was supposed to be lowercase so your notepad ting 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 notepad is extremely boring and non-productive team that's the only difference now what is the alternate alternate is used to use something called as an integrated development environment when i say integrated development environment what do i mean now see i have a command prompt here okay then I have my code here. All right. And you know, this is two different windows command prompt here, code here, maybe two or three other related code me somewhere else. There's nothing integrated. They're all haphazard randomly placed across. We want them nicely organized systematically. IDE gives a lot of those features, team. For you, just go to eclipse ide download use very simple search terms team depending on what you need and always try and find the right search result to what you want to get it's an amazing place the internet you will find what you want just you have to be smart at the search options so eclipse downloads the eclipse foundations again all the tools that we're going to use as part of this training will be free or open source it is absolutely fine for you to use it for your educational purposes and the organizations want more and more people to learn their tools and get it into um, use eclipse ide 202009 do you all see this and you can download the 64 bit out of it and primarily i think it'll be about what 180 200 mb file somewhere in that range i believe team and again very simple installations make sure your java is installed first your jdk you're able to write the simple my java one dot java then you can go to eclipse uh, team to install eclipse are you all good with the first program and what we are doing and from here you should be able to go into eclipse team clear all of you can i open up eclipse at my end any questions so far in what we were doing please <clears throat> and please only keep a notebook notepad on the side to take down note don't try and search practice google anything while session is going because I would want your focus on the screen. Now, back here, everyone. 
where are we i'm talking about my c drive so c drive what i did i recently downloaded a latest version of eclipse actually that was on a different machine so here let me go to eclipse and open up any of the recent ones so you have older versions earlier it used to give like oxygen neon and different names for eclipse now they're giving a month and a year format to their versions what we saw right now is already 2020-09 that is september i have 06 fine to have an old version team not a problem uh, as long as things are well set up for you it's going to take a minute or two to launch it is not that um, simple as a notepad so it's got what you see in the notepad is the same code but you'll see that with a lot more powerful features in Eclipse now. Yes, um, Google Drive, I will send you the link in the chat right now. Let me do that. So G Drive. While Eclipse is launching, I'm kind of going through the other stuff share it's shared with a lot of people uh, anyone on the internet with this link can view that's correct copy link i want the team to be able to view and to all the attendees i'm quickly going to put it up here and shoot Brilliant, perfect, thank you. So done, 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 done. Eclipse ID, where is it? Did it start? Let me minimize everything, team. Ah, there you go. So now look at it. Mm, paint. I think I opened paint again earlier. So earlier we had um, command prompt and we had a uh, notepad and this became our combination for simplest java program now we're talking at something larger called as eclipse now the way eclipse works is it starts at the very beginning and says hey you know what let us do things very smart let us organize what we want let us put everything into workspace workspace is more like think of an office space or a location where in that workspace you can have many project and when we say projects we are talking mostly java projects okay and so on you can have multiple projects in each workspace and each project can have different java programs classes reusable libraries and so on what are each of those we will learn team but think of it like a folder to subfolder structure main folder subfolders subfolders etc etc <laughs> okay now where's my eclipse ah it okay minimize here so it says choose a directory as workspace i was always using the earlier one for different ones um, so for each one i have different workspaces that i keep working on team so we don't have to get confused. We have a fresh workspace for ourselves. I'm gonna browse. Let's go to that folder that we created. So everything is in one folder locally also in my machine. So under trainings, I'm going to Java for kids hyphen SCP. I'm gonna take this folder team and say select folder. So what basically happens, any of the programs that I create, it'll try and put it up here, okay? so we will organize things in that folder now see earlier this folder had only my java one dot java and then my java one dot class came when we compiled it now there's something called dot metadata so when you're working with eclipse it'll add a bunch of a few more files that will keep things interesting here is how eclipse looks team and in e immediately you should be able to identify the fact that it seems to be uh oops 
much more complex and you know as a tool what is this doing okay it's highlighting yeah so it's got a larger menu bar team it's got many features under it and there's a lot that you can do uh, thousands hundreds and thousands of java developers worldwide use eclipse as a ide we're going to use the same but we'll use it with limited features for example let us say you buy you're already too good at smartphones so if you give you a smartphone by tomorrow morning it will be no more smarter all the smartness will come to you but let us say you get onto a new car okay the car is fully loaded with too many features you don't want to spend one week just in the, the training for that you'll start driving enjoying it as you're going through new features you'll keep discovering and that's the beauty of it as well so that is exactly what we're going to do with eclipse we will not focus and say oh there's so much in eclipse let's go one by one i close that initial welcome screen team this is what you would want to see a lot that we will do will be under the menu bar unlike notepad there are many more features here we will be using very very limited ones among them uh, to what extent let me talk now let me also talk about the layout so the way it is is let me first create a project team so here you can create a new java project import project and blah 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 but rely to go with file new java project everyone all of you with me so in my workspace we're creating a new project let's call this p1 everyone if that's fine just a project name and it will automatically choose your java runtime environment what to use to run it you can also say hey i have a jdk java development kit what is jre jdk don't worry too much but primarily jdk more from a development perspective if you want to run applications on java you need java runtime environment um, say next or you can say finish also and uh, create module hyphen info dot java no i don't think need it and say finish so what it has done is it has created something in eclipse parallelly let us look at a java for kids now did you see p1 has come here and under p1 a bunch of folders we will not touch any of the folders except for this src team for a long time to go because src stands for source or source code and this is where we will put all our source code here so p1 this tree if you look carefully you can expand it team so this is called the java runtime environment system library okay let me explain if you have a java program to run it okay I'm just using a play button to run you need java runtime environment it has a lot of inbuilt java classes that gives it the understanding for example when i say system.out.println how does it know to print something it knows because um, it's all there in this inbuilt library so this is by default team and this is a simple structure that you see now keeping this here go to src think of this as simple windows explorer team exactly like you create here so this pc c drive where is it c drive and training and blah 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 where are we java for kids september so here so it's like navigating through the files the same thing out here team so we've come to src i'm going to right click on src and say new class which basically means a java class team this is where we will write our dot java program everyone so what we were writing in our notepad i want to write it here so i did a control a control c 
I copied this code. And there is a concept of packages. I am not going to use a package team. <clears throat> One second. Sorry, team. Um, and I'm going to call this as my Java one, the same name. Okay. And here it gives me further options saying that, hey, do you want to add this public static void main? You remember I was showing you that this is a very important one, this main method in Java programs. That is um, an option here. So giving you a lot of features by click here, choose here, do that, do this, and so on. So rather than a very simplistic approach, so you should not try and be hungry and say, I want to use every feature with an Eclipse. Do not do that. Only use whatever I'm showing and whatever we're learning. Otherwise, you will get confused. Team. So I've gone here, SRC my Java one dot Java. Now look team. If I go to P1 in here, oops. source the program is also added here so it's kind of getting synced up with us control a control v whatever code we got from there now see did you notice a difference team there are two types of errors that we will keep constantly discussing a lot okay the first is called a syntax error where before execution we realize the code is not written correct could be a spell error too then there is something called as a runtime error where it will say during execution something unexpected happened it does not know what to do so look at the beauty of eclipse this side is my package explorer if i have many java uh, projects and programs i'll see a list of them here is the window where we'll focus a lot because that is where our code will be written and maintained i don't want you to worry too much about this task list or outline and other features team so close those tabs this is like a simple window pane or a frame which can be resized and there are different perspectives don't play around with them keep it minimal with minimalistic approach your focus will be more on the topic learning now the beauty of eclipse as a platform is it knows how java code looks how you're supposed to write something and if you make an error it's going to point it out to you so if i kind of save it it will say that my whole project has an error because there's one program in the project which has an error and that program has an error on line seven if you don't see line numbers on your eclipse team just right click on the space gray area here and you can use this checkbox right click show line numbers there we go and the font also looks pretty small let's increase i don't even remember where but let's see window preferences mm, i'm looking at help no window editor appearance no Preferences. Java. Editor. Ah, uh, so this is where it is. Java editor. I'm just increasing the font side size so you can see team. Edit to maybe 14. Say okay. Apply and close. So team. 
from now all our focus will go into writing code reading our code before we execute it and making it work and we will keep fixing this problem see this problem is now come here so now my code is ready and this code is there within that folder subfolder etc do you see this run icon this green icon that's the other beauty team i don't need to go elsewhere to execute it and i also can see what outputs will come out here that's great so this is exactly uh, how we wanted to approach where everything is well integrated into one let's create one more so i'll say let's copy this control a control c and i'll say new java class by class because under a project we, we can have any number of java programs so here is my java 2 and control a control v now here uh, instead of hello to coding i just want to print this it's just lines team actually i'm going to and team you have to get better at typing keyboard everything there's no scope for averageism anymore in this planet team you have to be exceptionally well it's not about competition it's just the fact that you will enjoy your life much more when you give emphasis to discipline in it now do you see any errors everyone can you interact with me use your chat option or questions option to interact i'm asking a question all do you see an error in the program yes or no what type of an error is it is it a syntax error or a runtime error there is an error don't you see a red dot here and a red underline it is a syntax error why even before saving or before execution rather i am unable to um, i am able to see this issue that is why it is a syntax error okay perfect now how do i fix it i have to fix it please note remember i told you the class name and the file name must be the same and i'm going to say my java 2 now it looks good so now let us run my java 2 i can also right click on it and say run as a simple java application it is same as using the shortcuts in the menu bar and it's printed this now how about my square one see once you got the feel of it going faster is not a problem not a problem oopsie <laughs> copy the whole code i'm just taking the basic code team not much my square two square one it has to be that's the name now here is the interesting part see for a square all i want to do is replace the hyphens with this so you see what i'm saying you asked karthik asked for a square right are you giving me a square yes or no that's the most important thing giving me a square yes or no we will talk a lot about comments lines and so on team but most importantly java goes line by line trying to see what has to be done okay now save again and run wow now is this a square are we more and more confident about this being what it is is this a square team does it look like one kind of maybe <laughs> but you cannot ever be sure about it no neither the size nor the shape definitely at least the number of characters if you think about it so i have how many here see manually i'm having to calculate what is the point of doing all this manual things when there are even simple calculators which do lot of good things but let's see how many i have one Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Fifteen hyphens. Wow. So that means I need to have thirteen of these. So that's 
not even close for us to being a square but also it dimension wise it may not look like a perfect square i sure that i am sure that i'm not going to use the square anywhere but to explore and see what it does and then we will talk about parameterizing it and make it driven through numbers that is what we want my square to do what was the other thing that i wanted to do today team ting 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 print a multiplication table my table i'll say two table is that fine my table two okay put a main method and team all of you will look at the video and repeat and doing the same code that we're doing okay now it looks like a rectangle yes because it's not going to be ideal square ever but we are not even giving the right inputs creating a new one called my table to two so what does it mean two multiplication table i took this easiest number <laughs> and say so two star one equals equals plus two am i doing something smart don't you think it is a slow process and maybe there's a lot that we could you know now tell me if this is correct is this a two table so only till 6 but is it correct yes or no and that is where team i want you all to keep your eyes very focused on what i am doing how can anyone say yes to that it is correct are you even watching or are you sleepy you are awake what is it you not attending be alert guys which line number is an issue as per you team which line number is an issue as per you line number 9 oh that is right 2 star 4 is 8 see that is correct that is where i like you guys to be extremely alert okay team i may make some mistakes deliberately sometimes but a lot of times i may make it genuinely because we are humans we tend to so you should have your eyes observant and inform me saying kartik there's an issue there can you take a look at it please and i will now this is my table 2 so save it and launch great so my problem one solved my problem two solved what if i want to do a three table again i have to write or a four table or two table up to 50 again so we are not able to find a complete solution so look at the issues that we facing one our solution is not holistic what do i mean by this team holistic it's a it's not complete it is not covering everything it's like you have one tire that is flat it's punctured and then you're fixing the tire and suddenly you'll realize that your radiation is gone radiator it is gone because of the heat also so, so something is breaking somewhere so your approach is can be different each human may think and write different code all code okay though okay there can be more than 
one correct solution. There is always scope for further improvement. So these are the things you need to keep in the back of the mind. Keep that dream. We are not here for simple Java learning. I do not teach anything simple. I'm going to talk about uh, absolute um, perfection in your learning. You have to be totally disciplined through and through team. So when we are doing all of this, you have to question yourself. You have to ask, why are we doing this? Why are we hard coding? What is it that the computer or a program is giving value? Can we do it some other way? Are there alternate approaches? Will, will, rather can or will our program break? And we have to explore all of these. And that is where we will improve. Now, ideally, my table three, I'll just save it for now. The way I should write this, okay, is for int i equals one i less sorry i less than let's say 21 i plus plus which i have not shown you for loop yet team i'm just showing you a solution that we will get to when we create a for loop when we understand we'll be able to implement such a thing and right here says so and say two star plus i plus equals plus two star i is this correct no syntax error that i see save it and i always love to read my code once before i execute i equals one i is less than 21 or i can say i is less than or equal to 20. So it goes from 1 to 20, 20 times. So each time it comes in here, it'll say 2 star 1 equals 2 into 1, that is 2. 2 star 20 up to... This plus is just a concatenation. All of this we will learn. I'm just kind of showing you how we should do better versions of our programs as we go further and further. There you go. Did you see that? Now, it is so easy for me to change this to a 7 multiplication table. All I do is seven here and run. Quick question to everyone. Is it the correct result now for seven multiplication table? Yes, no. Yes, no. Is it the right solution for seven multiplication table? I made a quick change and I ran. I know I speak sometimes very fast team, sometimes slow, but that is how it is. You have to modulate. No, why? I changed two here. That is correct. But E7 star 2040, no, 7 star 20 is 140 team. I did not change 7 here. See, those are those small errors that we will tend to overlook. And here is where programs can get better and better. Similarly, I can print a square also and say that here, you know what, this is what I will print. So it will be very interesting how you get to a concept and do it. For example, square, what I will do is very simple in square team C. This will be there, this will be there. First line, second line. I don't know how many of these lines will be there. So here I'll put a for loop. Int i equals square is let's say of 10 rows. How many did we see here? Do you remember team? We counted this manually earlier. How many were there? 15? Oh, nice memory, nice attention, everyone. Thank you, helping me. For i equals one, semicolon, i is less than or equal to 15, semicolon, i, plus, plus. And team, I have not introduced you yet to for loop. I will, but showing you how we can quickly come to a solution. We're going to go one by one. And this is a quick solution. If I have 15 here, I have 15 here as well. But the distance between each line versus the distance between each column here is very low. That is why it is not fair. 
so you you know this may make more better sense of a better looking square but the fact that we are not going to let it come through hard coding everything so rigid we don't have any logic to it it is extremely blind in execution so whatever we are executing at the end would come here oops that has gone much longer <laughs> oh yeah if i do that then i also have to do that here correct that's it but i only have to change it one place because this for loop is repeating that line and like I said, warning everyone, I've not yet uh, discussed this with you at length. We will go through it. This is also a square, not a bad one. We can take out the boxes in between too. Why did the multiplication start with 7 star 12? Let's see. And team, I'm open for questions now. Anyone, please let me know. It should have started with seven equals one. Maybe we didn't see the entire console. Uh, who asked that question? And that could be the reason. Let's re-execute, run as Java app. So see, it came all the way. We didn't see the view, so it was more like console was something like this. So that's why it showed like that. All right, team, I'm open for questions. Any questions for today? Let me know. I want you to get all set with installing Java and Eclipse. Practice till what we did. We're going to continue from here. Next session, Monday. Uh, not today, not on Friday, team. Uh, I want you all to get set up with your system, everything. Questions? If you want to speak, raise your hand. I can unmute you as well. If you just have a text question, you can put it in the chat. I'm here for the next two, three minutes. Okay, so I hear one question from Abhignya. How to open Java from command prompt, correct? So you're basically not opening Java from command prompt. If you go to your folder and run Java, you'll know that Java is existing. Then you go to the folder where your file is there, your code is there, and you're primarily compiling that my Java one dot java it's in a wrong folder it will throw up an error but and then you're executing that compiled class so you're only executing a file from command prompt and that happens to be a java file a couple of questions hands raised let me unmute yes please ramachoti madhavi um uh, can you please uh, place the class a little bit early for uh, the central time because we also have a school the next day. How oh, sweet. Um, I wish I could. I will may not be able to. Uh, only reason because there are also participants from India who are joining and it is also very early for them. I will try to prepone it a little bit more because even I understand there are students in Eastern, it's very late for them. I'll see if I can prepone it by an hour, definitely. Okay. Sure, I will give it a try. Who else? question sorry go can on you, please, yes. uh, can you please uh, um uh, tomorrow when mm -hmm. we start the class uh, can you just like uh, show us a review of yesterday's everything we did quickly 
like this yes, document is, and this is what i think you all should hold on to don't come with specific expectations i will you will notice it happening okay. uh, like when i start the session every time i will go through and i in fact will execute those programs that we wrote in the previous session and then proceed with the new topics okay nice let me see a couple of chat questions here what age group for kids this training is good i don't know if you are comfortable i'm comfortable <laughs> so i want it to be a little bit more open if kids are i would say in seventh eighth grades and higher that's good all right everyone thank you so much wonderful participation i've saw some incredible responses um huge audience i'll see you back next time uh madhavi i did unmute you uh but somehow could not hear you yes maybe um, now yeah um where, when should we use the um punctuation for java like these slashes the hyphens curly braces hmm. we'll come to it sure so this is basically curl braces are blocks We'll be creating them. Okay. The forward slashes are something called as comments, which will tell that, hey, Java, ignore what I'm writing and so on. We will be talking about that from tomorrow's class. So I wrote a very quick class. From Monday, we will start with variables, how to put values into it. Mm -hmm. We'll write a simple if statement, and then we'll get into loops. Okay. All right. Abhignya. Oh uh, yes. Um, will you show me the link again? How you have to open the um recording for the class? Um. Yeah. So what happens is you would get a link in your email address. Okay. From go to webinar and okay. that would be the same link for you for every session okay yeah and you can use that same link you would also get a reminder an hour before the session every day with the link to join okay thank you you're welcome so Jenya? Oh, this is Tejas. Hi, uh, where can I get the recorded video? Like the recorded session? I did answer this at the beginning. So two places. One in our YouTube channel. I will put it as soon as this is converted. Two on our website where we host all our trainings. Go.itlearn.com once we put it here we will also send across an email the location for that but uh, immediately you will find it in the youtube channel that's the fastest so if you subscribed there then yes you'll get a quick one. Oh, okay thank you most welcome it's a monday to friday class we don't have anything on weekends and an hour a day maybe half an hour an hour of practice on the side sahasra um, um so it, there's no classes on saturday and sunday right no we don't have anything on weekends so it's friday and then monday so this friday we don't it's monday tuesday wednesday thursday friday weekdays okay Okay. Who else? And please absolutely be interactive. Love to take questions. Let it keep I, coming. Yeah, I have one more question. Is this uh, only for Java or are there any other languages? 
Uh, this training that I'm currently doing for two weeks is on Java. But if you go to go.itlearn.com and look at all not my courses, rather all courses, you will see Java, Python, C Sharp, plenty of them. Some of them are also free. So if you look at free out here, you'll see, see this Java and Python together, previous videos and a few other tools. So you have a plenty of programming learning content on IT Learn apart from Java. Yeah, like, I mean, like, is there any live sessions for Java and Python and all those other languages or only for Java there is live session? Usually live batches keep happening. Now I did Java this month. So month and a half or so I will do Python again. Okay. Let's see, did I not give mic to anyone else? How many of you are joining from India as well? I'm assuming plenty of you too. Okay, team, um, good having you all. It was very nice especially your sweet voices towards the end and questions. I will see you back on Monday then. And please note for people in India and a few other countries from a time zone, if it's evening my time, it'll be morning your time. So if it's Monday morning, evening my time, it's Tuesday morning for you. Just keep that uh, in mind, everyone. That's it for today. Great. Have a good weekend as well. See you next week. Bye now. Bye all.